Sulfur is the 10th most abundant element, and this stuff is actually considered waste by industry. Fundamentally, it's cheap if we can use it to make better batteries. The chemistry of sulfur using a lithium anode in the battery allows it to carry more charge density, which means the battery in your phone would either be smaller or the same size battery would be able to last significantly longer. The problem with using sulfur-based batteries is there are chemical reactions that occur that basically kill the battery long before uh, a lithium ion or a traditional battery that you would currently use would last. And we need to understand why that's happening and how to mitigate that. PNNL has amazing capabilities in developing what we call in situ methods. So imagine if we could watch the changes in the chemistry in the battery while you're using the battery. That is exactly what we've done. We'll tell you about our findings in 90 seconds. A lithium sulfur battery, and in fact many batteries work, where you will have a solid lithium metal anode. A lithium atom detaches from the metal, it travels through the electrolyte to the cathode, and it's carrying charge while it's doing this, and then it travels back through the electrolyte solution to the lithium anode. And that is effectively charge, discharge, charge, discharge. That's what's going on in your battery. We designed a holder that would function inside the XPS machine, X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. By putting this holder into the system, we were able to see what was bonding and where it was bonding. We found that lithium, who only has one electron, liked to bond with different elements, which led to it bonding to the electrolyte and then moving over to the lithium anode and coating it. And this happened with each cycle, making the battery work less and less until eventually it just dies. So the next step to developing a, a better battery, and a lithium sulfur battery in particular, is to try to change the composition of the electrolyte, to potentially slightly modify the chemical composition at the lithium anode. And we don't know in advance which of these things might actually work. Whatever our findings are, it will inform us to make the next best battery.